is Group 4's uh, project. This is Powerline Audio Transmission. We're just going to discuss uh, how it is we're going about doing this kind of transmission. Right here is our transmitter. Connected to our transmitter is our input, which is the laptop with, uh, with the code. What the laptop does is it, it frequency modulates our signal coming from the iPhone, as you can see over there. After frequency modulating, it'll be sent to our transmitter, which is located right here. Our transmitter has two main components. The first main component is an amplifier. As the name implies, it amplifies our signal. It amplifies it by about three to four times. Over here is our isolation circuit. Our isolation circuit is used to protect against the 120 volts you get from the power outlet. After this, it's sent to an NMW cable, W stands for wet cable, and then spliced together with morettes to an NMD90 cable, D stands for dry, and then goes to our receiver. This is, again, our NMD90 cable, and you can follow it along over here. It comes to here, which is the output of the NMD90 cable, goes to our receiver. The receiver has many, many important parts, the first of which is an isolation circuit, steps out of the voltage by 100 times. Then we have something something really fancy to a summing amplifier. The reason why we added a summing amplifier was because since this we're using an ideal situation, it's just a cable, and we're not plugging into a wall, we have this noise we need to account for. So save 120 volt applications or 120 volt uh, in the wall. You see you have 120 volts coming in here, right? Which will be two volts, but this is an RMS value. So it's actually with peak to peak, it's going to be times two. So we have 3.4 volts peak to peak of noise being input into here to simulate the application at 60 hertz. Moving along, we have a filter. Filters two important parts. It filters out high frequency noise and filters out uh, 60 hertz. 60 hertz obviously we need to filter out because of the because of the 60 hertz noise we get in the wall. And the high frequency noise to just uh, smoothen out our wave and get rid of the high frequency kinks. Uh, it's composed of a low-pass Butterworth filter, second order, and a high-pass filter, which is just uh, a resistor and cap in series. The final part is a clamping circuit right over here, and it does just that. It clamps voltage. The reason why we need a clamping circuit is for protection, obviously. For protection reasons, because we don't want to blow our equipment. We'd rather blow these cheap diodes, right? If you follow the transmitter, it goes to here, plugs into a normal jack, and go straight into a laptop. This laptop is the receiver laptop. It frequency demodulates, it demodulates in frequency domain. And then, uh, then as you can clearly see, we can click and listen. As you can see, you can hear the output of our, of our system. Right now we're playing a song all the way from there. If you take a look, all the way through the cable. And coming all the way back around to this laptop. With the noise input, as you can see, the noise is still there. Now notice the quality we're getting. The reason why we get this kind of quality is because we're using a mono signal instead of a stereo signal. So we have more, more bandwidth to work with. The quality is satisfactory, but there's a major reason why you hear just a tiny bit of distortion. And it's not because of the noise. The reason why you hear the distortion is because we had a hardware limitation. This sound card and the sound card of that laptop right over there has a limit of 44 kilohertz and because of the limit of 44 kilohertz we only have so much bandwidth you can use but for the goal we set out to achieve we have done I would like to say a pretty okay job an all right job because we have this transmission that can be utilized in, in homes uh, in PA systems or on a very very large scale even urbanization maybe we can get rid of the usage for telephone lines but as I said again uh, this type of transmission is extremely important and uh, us from page 4 think that it was a worthwhile experience. We learned a lot and uh, we really, really enjoy the fact that uh, you took the time to listen to this. Thank you very much. Uh, group H4 out.